Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single video. Today we're going to take a look at the Star Trek Generations. Uh, it says on the packaging, Lieutenant Commander William Riker, First Officer of the USS Enterprise NCC-1701D. However, Will Riker is not Lieutenant Commander, he is simply Commander. So that's a print error on this packaging. Uh, Star Trek Generations gear, Type 2 Phaser, Isolinear Chips, Starfleet Scanner, Field Science Kit, Star Trek Generations Starfleet Action Base. Uh, as you can see on the front, design an alien contest, win a TV appearance on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. I wonder who won that. <laughs> uh, exclusive mini Star Trek Generations movie poster included hailing all collectors, individually numbered figures. This is from Playmates Toys. As you can see, you got John Jean-Luc Picard there. And... Captain Kirk responding to a distress call from an alien vessel the USS Enterprise NCC 1701 B voyages into the path of a space phenomenon known as the Nexus ribbon Admiral Kirk transcending space and time via his phenomenon via this phenomenon encounters Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise NCC 1701D. Together these two generations of commanders join forces to thwart the devious plans of Dr. Sauron and save countless star systems. It's the ultimate voyage beyond the next generation. Open your own space rift and collect all the characters from Star Trek Generations. As you can see here on the back, we have Admiral James T. Kirk, Montgomery Scott, Pavel Chekhov, Captain Jean-Luc Picard, Commander Deanna Troy, Lieutenant Commander Data, Lieutenant Commander Worf, Lieutenant Commander Geordi LaForge, Dr. Beverly Crusher, Guinan, uh, it says Lieutenant Commander William Riker, but it, it's Commander Riker, Lursa, Lieutenant Commander Worf in 19th century outfit, and Beater. And here you have the clip and collect uh, that Playmates used to have on the majority of their figured packages. Uh, William Thomas Riker, species human male, rank Lieutenant Commander. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with all these Lieutenant Commanders. He's not a lieutenant commander. He's commander. He is the first officer. He is Picard's number one. Picard is the captain. Riker was commander. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but I digress. Uh, coming soon, Star Trek Deep Space Nine Crossroads of Time video game on Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo Entertainment Systems. Uh, you've also got the engineering playset as well. Now, I'm not going to read all this, but I will bring it closer. If you guys want, you can pause it. Read it. There you go. All right. So, I did get this guy from Primary Colors Retro Relics in Lincoln, Illinois. Mickey is a very great guy in there. He has tons of vintage toys, video games, movies, comic books the works at a great price as you can see i paid five dollars for this guy um along with him in some uh, in a couple bins the cheap bins uh for a dollar i got lieutenant commander data as well this is from the next generation toy line i also got captain jean-luc picard from generations uh, they were loose in a bin, dollar bin. Um, and that's because they didn't have any accessories with them. So, we've got Picard, we've got Riker, and we've got Data. Now let's go ahead and open Riker up and take a look at the figure. Alright, so first things first. Got a nice little mini poster. Let's go ahead and back that up a little bit. There we go. 
Trek. Nice little mini poster. Star Trek Generations Playmates. I think I might end, this, end up hanging this up on the wall. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. We've also got... <clears throat> Deep Space, Star Trek Deep Space Nine Design an Alien Contest. Grand prize win a TV appearance on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. First prize, $500. Second prize, Star Trek Deep Space Nine Action Figure Collection. Prepare for a new and fascinating alien in the Deep Space Nine universe. One of your own creations will bring to life a benevolent being or untrusted traitor. You decide what species. You design its distinguishing features. You be the one to design the most unique alien ever encountered by Starfleet. See official rules for details. Official entry form on reverse side. And I guess you draw it right there. So I'm sure you can't. Uh, I'm sure the contest is over. So sorry, guys. You're late. Don't try sending in your designs. Deep Space Nine it has been over for a very long time. Uh, but as you can see, here's Commander William Riker. Uh, he's got this briefcase. Which does open up. Sorry to have to do this off camera. But it does have tools in it. There is a peg right there and a hole right there. Just close it up and it pegs into place. Very nice. As I showed you, the inside does have a lot of tools, engineering tools, uh, molded into it. So you can't take them out. But it's still pretty cool nonetheless. Um, wonder if you can put some of these. No, it doesn't look like you can put the pads in there. Or isolinear chips. Whatever you want to call them. Pretty cool nonetheless. Here's a pad here. Data pad. Just got a sticker on there. Some waveforms. Uh, yellowish pea color. A uh, couple other plastic accessories here. And Commander William Riker does come with, if I can get him to stand up, there we go. This little display base, as you can see the corner, uh, it was taped inside. And taking the tape off, it ripped off part of that corner there. Still cool nonetheless. And then... You have this phaser uh, with the beam coming out. However, you've almost got to stand him just like that to make him make it look like he's shooting at anything. You can't do it straight on, really, unless you know you kind of kind of. I get. I guess that's that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and take this out take a look at it. It's just a gray sculpt with a uh, reddish-orange beam. Nothing too special. You have very decent likeness to Will Riker. Jonathan Frakes, I must say. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, for the time, for the time period that these were made anyway. A pretty nice sculpt. His head does turn all the way around. Let's go ahead and back this up just a little bit. There we go. His arms go all the way around. Waist swivel and legs go up like that. That's all his articulation, really. So we'll go ahead, put him back on his display base, put the phaser back in his hand like that and we'll put the tool case in his hand like that and I think what we'll do 
is we'll give the pads to Lieutenant Commander Data. The pads and the isolinear chips. Yeah. And maybe we'll give one to Captain Picard as well. Give him something to do. Other than face palm. Now with Picard, um, <clears throat> I don't think Picard comes from the same toy line as uh, Generations. I think he comes from another toy line because he has this bicep swivel. Okay, he does have his head can turn. You got all the way around. He is a little bit smaller too. Uh, you got elbow joint a lot looser too and Riker doesn't really have the elbow joint so that's two joints so far that Picard has that Riker doesn't you got the waist swivel you got the leg joints plus Picard something that Riker doesn't have that Picard does is a knee joint So there's that. Now we'll put this, I guess, if it'll stay. Yeah, it won't stay. And then Data, it appears he might be from the same toy line because he has all the same articulation as Picard. Anyway, even though there's some differences in the lines, uh, they do go well together. They are relatively uh, same scale. So if you find one from one toy line and find another from another, or from one wave and find another from another wave, you can't really tell other than the articulation. So there you have it, my friends. Star Trek Generations, Commander William Riker, along with Captain Picard and Data. Uh, very good likeness, very good sculpt for the time. Uh, Playmates Toys did a really good job with these. Uh, I remember having some of the Next Generation series figures growing up. Um, I'm not sure if they were of this design or an earlier design, but they were pretty cool nonetheless. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one, and remember to come back for more toy reviews right here on come again tv the only place where you the only place on youtube where all geek culture collides if you enjoyed that video make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture also make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched i'm shannon for come again tv the only place on youtube where all geek culture collides take care geeks